until the next cycle. One of the most fascinating forms of ecstasy um, is daytime wyog, the wyog lemma, in which there is no screen. And one of the things I love about this picture is look at the other people there. Look where they're not looking. <laughs> Humans don't watch these performances because they're not for you. There is no screen. There is no lamp. There's no microphone. There's no gamelan. It is purely for the gods and nothing but the gods. Um, the performance, this, this has to happen in the innermost part of the temple, which is ritually pure um, and, uh, and with no screen. So, actually, I had a fascinating conversation just this last weekend. I was at a conference and saw Jennifer Goodlander, that student I mentioned before, is now professor at Indiana <laughs> University. Um, uh, and she was the one who was writing about female Dalans, and she described an experience of watching a female Dalang perform a daytime festival and many people were, humans were watching. And she was curious about why, and thought that perhaps they thought this was a novelty, thought this was interesting. <clears throat> then she made some inquiries about it, and so the, the working theory she has right now, which I think is dead on, is that the people in the town were worried because a woman was performing this, that she might not get it right. Uh, she might do it unsuccessfully, and therefore the gods would not be pleased and the, the, the accommodations would not be made. And therefore they had to monitor this to make sure it was going okay. Um, so just in conclusion, I would argue that, then, that one of the values of this for me is first of all a recognition that our form of theater is peculiar. Not wrong, not bad, but it's, it's historically conditioned by our time and our place. And we tend to think of Western, people in the West tend to think of Western theater as what theater is, and it ain't. Um, uh, so the idea that, 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 that people talking and only talking, actors talking and only talking, and an audience sitting in the dark is a historically and spatially conditioned form of theater. We take it as normal, but if you look at it in the world, it is rare. If you look at it in the history of humankind, our form of theater is rare. So we have much to learn from Bali, not just in though in what it can teach us about Western theater, but as I've just tried to describe here, its importance in its own right. But ultimately then, what I'm trying to argue here is it's not about theater. It's not about the puppets. It's about our place in the cosmos. Thank you. So, um, uh, I'm going to do, boys and girls, want to see a puppet <laughs> show? <laughs> so, um, we're going to do a, a performance here. I'm uh, going to be ably assisted by three wonderful assistants uh, here, Anne, uh, Hakeem, and Nina. Um, and so while we're getting set up, there, it, there, what, what you have to, this is a requirement. You have to eat, you have to drink, you also have to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> oh, can't. All right, forget it, no pacho, no cigarettes, no pacho. I'm kidding. So, um, so, and oh, one other thing that, uh, as I mentioned before, it's very important that you not just sit here. You need to come around and, and watch from the back also. Um, so yeah, we can just slide. Um, so you need to get up and watch from the back also. Um, and uh, I was talking to this, I mentioned to my friend, Jennifer Goodlander, I mentioned her this weekend that I was rather nervous about doing this performance. The last time I did this play was in... Um, um, the last time I did this play fully was in back in January. So I'm very, uh, not very experienced with this. So I said to Jennifer I was really worried about performing this play. And she said, it's okay. Just remind the audience that this is happening during the daytime. 
So you're not supposed to watch. <laughs> Just yeah. talk among yourselves. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> Ignore me. I don't think so. Actually, it's okay if I sit here, but I can see better from over here. Okay. I just want to make sure you're not taping the back of my head. <laughs> Far less interesting than this. Well, I can sit on the floor, yeah. to sang haneng asramo
Saman Kanu Zero Sang Koro Wu Manke Charetanan Zero Sang Panda Wu Saman Kanu in my throat? Was I up too late last night watching the returns? No, 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 no. It's not like that. It's just I don't like songs like that. They're old-fashioned. My friends and I don't like songs like that. We like, we don't like tradition. We want to go out shopping. We want to go riding on our motorbikes. We want to go texting on our blueberries. <laughs> my son, what kind of songs should I be singing? You should sing popular songs, good songs, like Sai. Opa, opa, ganga, sai. Oh, 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 ganga, My son, you are wrong. That is not right. That song is only popular for one year, but the Mahabharata has been famous for thousands of years. It is the most famous song in the world. All people in the world know the Mahabharata. The Mahabharata who? <laughs> who knows about that? My son, a famous a professor, from has come all the way from America, from Ohio University, to visit Bali to learn Wayang Kulit from the great Dalang Pak Tun Jun. He wants to study the Mahabharata so he can return to America and teach his students about the lessons of the Mahabharata and the philosophy of the Mahabharata. What is that philosophy, Daddy? The philosophy teaches us that all people in the world are equal. We can learn peace and love from the Mahabharata. His president understands the philosophy of the Mahabharata. <laughs> that is why he is a great leader. Daddy, Daddy, stop talking like that. You sound like a professor when you go on with these long speeches. We have to get to a meeting. Oh, what meeting is that? Well, Kunti, the mother of the Pandua family, is coming to the Sadhasranga forest to meet her son, Yudhisthira. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's go. No. Numaris. Daddy, Kunti is telling her son Yudhisthira that he has to study hard, that learning is the most important thing in life. She cannot give her son lots of money. They are not rich like the Korowa. But she can give her son something more important than, than money. What is that, my son? That is the love of learning. That is more important. She can give him philosophy. That's right. And that's what your mother and I are always trying to tell you. Yes, Daddy, I know that. And that's why I want to be a student forever and ever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my son, learning is good. But you also have to get out. You have to meet girls. You have to get married. You have to get a job. Do you realize how old you are? No, Daddy. Daddy, how old am I? Son, you are 45 years old. <laughs> 45? Me? Is that too old to be a doctoral student, Daddy? <laughs> yes. It is good to learn. But you have to move on. You have to get on with your life. You have to apply the knowledge you have learned. You have to make the world a better place. That is the philosophy of the Mahabharata. OK, Daddy, but you are talking too much again. The Pandu are bringing their weapons to their teacher, Resi Drona, who is having a big ceremony for the examination. He is going to test all the Korowa and the Pandua. But first, he has to do special prayers for the weapons. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's go. Hola. 
weapon too. And I want to get a blessing for my weapon. I've got a big weapon. <laughs> Tonight, if I don't get this right, the Korowa will lose the examination. Bima and Arjuna's weapons are strong, so I have to switch them with weak weapons. I hope nobody will know what I am doing. <laughs> should not be switching weapons. Son, uh, Sakuni, I have bought a special stone just for you. Now, okay, which one is Arjuna's weapon? Which one is Bhima's weapon? Let's see, I have to find that. Oh! Oh, oh no, somebody has seen me. They have seen me, now what shall I do? I better do this quickly. Let's see, ah, here is Arjuna's weapon. Oh, I have switched it for the weak one, weak weapon. Now, which one is Bima's? Ah, oh, here is Bima's weapon. Oh, it is so heavy. Oh, 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 oh. Now I have switched it for the weak weapon. Aha! Now the now the now Arjuna and Bima will lose. Ah. Ohun Nanak Sang Pandawu Ayuo Bagyu Zero Vapo Eresidrana Yambayu Mankusara Eresidrona Yambayu Mankusara Epa! 
Thunderwa, Thunderwa, Drona's finished with the ceremony. Come take your weapons. No lot more. exercises by eating. I eat lots of uh, suckling pig and crispy duck and, and lots of fatty foods. But look what you do. You get your exercises by running and all you drink is water and tea and rice and chop chai. That is not healthy food. That, is, that does not, you will not be get, have, have a big stomach like I have. Big brother, I think it is just that we have a different kind of body. But I know that you are a wise man while I am just a stupid boy. That is right. <laughs> expensive house and his boat and his car. He's underwater. Don't you believe in a good health care plan? No, stupid brother. I will tell you what the doctor's health care plan is. The doctor goes to the devil every day and he prays. He prays like this. I hope everyone in the world gets sick. <laughs> have to come to me and take my medicine and pay me money. <laughs> that is his health care plan. Everyone will get sick. 
If everyone gets well, the doctor will go bankrupt. He will lose his car. He will lose his house. He will lose his boat. Well, where do you go, big brother? I go to a midwife. <laughs> Are you pregnant, big brother? No, stupid little brother. Boys do not get pregnant. Well, then why do you go to the midwife? Do you go to the midwife to, to, to take her medicine? No, I don't take her medicine. Well, why do you go there? I go there to hug her and kiss her. Hugging and kissing is what makes me feel better. <laughs> I go to hug and kiss her. That's my health care plan. <laughs> big brother, big brother, that is not right. It is not appropriate to hug and kiss the midwife. That is harassment. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Field. You should work in a big office tower like me. I go every day in my fancy Lexus car to my fancy air-conditioned office in a high-rise office tower. You should be like me. Little brother, big brother, big brother, are you stressed out? Don't you remember? You are a rice farmer just like me. We are both poor peasants. We both work in the rice field. Oh, oh, you are right, little brother, you are right, I am sorry. Now I do remember, I do work in the rice field, just like you. I have been watching too much television about the lives of the rich and famous, and I thought I was one of them. Oh! <laughs> Mr. Sangu, what about the story? Is the story today from the Mahabharata or the Ramayana? Well, both are popular stories. Do you know the Ramayana? Uh, 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 uh. Please remind me. Is Professor Collins here? Maybe she can tell me. What is it? <laughs> In the Ramayana, the king is named Ramadewa. Ramaday who? Ramadewa. And in the Ramayana, it is easy to tell the good people from the bad people. Oh, really? How do I tell the difference? Well, the good people are the kings and their people, and the enemy are the giants. Oh, okay. Is the Mahabharata different? Yes, big brother. In the Mahabharata, the character, all the characters are people, the good characters and the bad characters. Most of them are friends and members of the same family. It is harder to tell who the enemy is. The Korowa and the Pandua are all related. The kingdom is a big family, and they all fight each other, just like a family. Are we going to hear about Resi Drona, the teacher in the Sadasranga forest? Yes, big brother. Our king, Duryodhana, is very upset today. Oh, why is he upset? Because Resi Drona, the teacher, is going to test all the brothers. Oh, will it be an examination? Yes, that is why our king is angry. Let's go watch. Udu Nanak Duryodhanu Kadyanapu Manastapu Warahan Nanak. Wangyakun Dharmu Astakaryu Nanak Lawan Pandawu. Udu Nanak Tan Kasido Nanak. Mr. Sankut, who was that man? What is that meeting about? What are they talking about? The man, that, that man who is, is our king, Duryodhana, and he is the one who is so upset. Our king is head of the Korowa family, and they are not interested in studying. They are different from the Pandua. The Pandua brothers want to learn. They want to study. They want to work hard. But our king just wants to have a good time. They want to go riding their motorbikes too fast. They want to go drinking in the bar. They just want to go dancing. Our king, Duryodhana,